Hello, you guys. Welcome back to another episode. Okay, so I, uh, I've already filmed this episode and I'm re-filming it because we ran into an issue and I need to explain that. So this used to be a, a very mountainy desert um, or hilly desert, whatever you want to say for it. And I cleared it out. I spent a long time clearing this out and I got a lot of materials. Um, to build this and this is a raid farm so that's why we're by the pillager outpost over here and uh build this farm it's a good design it's by mr cap nothing against them for this design it just doesn't work like i want it to um it could just be game mechanics of 1.18 but this farm itself uh it, it runs into issues um with the pillagers they struggle to get down into the actual killing chamber and um it's just not it's not it's not worth it i mean it's an easy farm if you're looking for just some easy way of getting totems but um i'm not doing this for totems um i'm doing this to have an absurd amount of emeralds so the reason i'm even filming that is because i filmed that entire video talking about how to build that farm going through it and i'm scrapping it so Today, we're going to rebuild that farm, but we're going to build a different version, and we're going to build one that's completely afk cable, and it's very big, um, which is kind of why I avoided it, but I need it. So, <laughs> um, because of I've already, I'm have already i tired, I don't feel like actually talking through this farm because it uses mechanics I have yet to actually use or play around with. Um, I'm going to time lapse it. So you guys are going to get a quick little time lapse and then afterwards we'll do some other stuff to fill this episode time. So I'll see you guys in just a moment. <music> So the farm is done and I'm going to just free cam so I can show you guys this. Um, it's massive. So it's, it's, I think it's very similar to the one that uh, Impulse made. Um, it's a tutorial from Sugarcraft. I'll link it down below. I'll also link down Mr. Cats in case you want to just build a simple one. Um, this though, I'm using this to get the majority like redstone and emeralds though. This also gives gunpowder so that might fix the second issue I'm having. Um, which I was going to try and fix next episodes, but if this works, this works. Um, so yeah, here's what it looks like with Freecam. It's it's massive. Um, also, it's the first time I've built something like this, so I'm hoping it works. If everything has gone correctly, it will work, um, but I'm ready to record because there's all this chance with redstone and stuff like this where I do it something wrong and it won't work. So um, I also built an item sorter real quick. It's It's pretty big. Um, and a lot of just extra overflow space. Um, so in the tutorial, he doesn't build any of this. I just did it anyways. So, uh, yeah, let's, let's go down and actually start this and then, uh, we'll come up and I'm, I'm going to leave, I'm going to leave my wings on, but not my armor. I also put mending on my sword, uh, for this so that I can use it and it not worry about it breaking and a uh, beacon set up because you will die with hunger without uh, regeneration on and I just threw resistant on just for the heck of it so let's go over here I'm kind of nervous <laughs> to do this and kill oh I have no armor on so like the chances of me dying just from doing this is there a raid captain over here or no I build this farm oh it's right there okay 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 I can't die doing this but oh I'm gonna die doing that food has been taken care of let's get back here so high up, I'm wasting so many rockets getting up here. It's fine. Uh, I'm gonna take my shoes off now. But I can do this, and I'll leave my food in my. Uh, uh, I'm gonna leave my. Uh, I'm not sure. 
we go over here, click this to start. Almost just fell off. We click this, break this, flick that, and then flick that. Did that do it? What? Did I do that wrong? I think I did that right. I mean, do here. F6. And I have an auto clicker set up for two se every two seconds. Okay, I'm hoping I did this right. If not, I'll have to figure out how to restart it. Okay, I was dropped. Raid started. Oh, I'm so scared. Oh, come on. Come on. Okay, the horn, I'm gonna... Okay, well, it works. Um, I'm gonna have to fix the hopper clock for the pistons, though. Because it's not working. I don't know what I did wrong. I think I started it wrong. Okay, I'm gonna let this raid finish out and then I'm gonna fix the clock and I'll come back once that's all done. Alright guys, so um, I've AFK'd for about 30 minutes probably. I got down to where my hunger was completely gone. Um, this is probably the most insane farm I've built so far in my entire time playing Minecraft because holy crap. So, loot-wise, I didn't run it for that long, so redstone, we don't have that much, but that's okay. <laughs> we have a lot of emeralds, which I'm really happy about. We have a decent amount of glowstone, not too much gunpowder, so I'm most likely going to have to resolve that with a different farm, and that's fine. Sugar, I don't really care about sugar, but you, you know. Glass bottles, which is, actually, this would be helpful for a honey farm, because I have a mass, we have the, the honeycomb farm, and then we have a honey bottle farm. Both are massive and produce so much that I had to build an extra storage system for them that's completely separate from our other storage system. So uh, that will be helpful. Spider eyes, which I don't really need because I have a spider farm, but I mean, I can stop using that farm if I need spider eyes and just come here. And then sticks, which we got a lot of sticks. Um, and that's just the standard drops that I, I actually kind of like more only wanted the emeralds and uh, the redstone and I, the gunpowder, but that's okay. Um, <laughs> Now to everything else, uh, this. <laughs> uh, so some sticks got in here and that's fine. Um, that's why I have such a massive overflow area anyways. We got a bunch of totems, a um, bunch of other junk as well. Ooh, potion of swiftness, dope. Um, so yeah, saddles. So this, this farm has a lot of just stuff I'm, I'm not going to use. Um, and I'm not, I don't have a plan to use totems currently uh because it's it's uh it's not needed it's not hardcore and uh, i die only because i'm stupid so um if i feel like totems are the only thing that i might use totems for if i ever really want to do a massive caving session um because i hate caving because i die often and then lose my stuff so totems would be helpful then um or for like the achievement but they're there who knows what we'll do with them maybe we can oh we can't really do much with totems other than like put them in a bunch of item frames. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm gonna grab all my gear. I need to put a chest up here with a slab on top full of just milk buckets because I have a bunch of, uh, where is, oh, it's down there. I have a bunch of, I have bad, bad omens still. Uh, though I think milk might get rid of Hero of the Village as well. Eh, I don't really need it. Um, yeah, I'm gonna clear out, I'm not gonna clear any of this out. I might take the emeralds, but, um, uh, Probably not right now. I don't need it. The XP wise, it's really good as well. Um, so this could be an XP farm for us, along with uh, if I can fix up our tools over here as well. Um, I'm not sure if I would want to break or uh, are you repair our tools over here. Um, but if anything, I can make a massive trading hall and use a make a massive trading. Oh, I don't want to start. Ooh, I got to be careful with that. I just realized that I have to be careful when flying back down because I still have. I have bad omen and that that right there. I need to also. I'm gonna have to find a cow first before I do anything because I'm gonna. I'm gonna need a cow first. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna find a cow. I'm gonna. Um, what am I gonna do? I'm gonna clean up over here, find a cow, and then we can head back to the house. I have a few things I want to show you, and then we'll probably end off today's video with uh, working on our village wall as well, our parts of our village because I I haven't built recently i'm sorry so i will uh i'll be back in just a moment all right guys so back at the base um 
I've done a few things. A few things have changed. So the first thing is I have a friend now. Um, he's been here for a while. I'm gonna take. Uh, I'm gonna have him break the crossbow. Um, but yeah, for now he's just there. It's kind of funny because I just killed a bunch of his friends. But you know, sorry, not sorry. Um, another thing is we've trying to change this up. If you guys remember, like very early on, we did build. Uh, well, I, I kind of just decided to make an entire massive hillside into another warp farm, and um, I ended up just leaving it as decorations. Um, so I, I took the top, a few, a few of the top layers, I took them apart, I removed another wart, and I, I placed um, a mixture of another wart, and then all the way up to like roots um, and the mushrooms and stuff. And I put lanterns on lightning rods and that actually has stopped all of the mobs from spawning in the field which is helpful because the amount of times I almost blew up because I accidentally fell or walked over there and there's a creeper I'm surprised I didn't die doing it a uh, different thing as well is um, we have we have two skeleton horses there was a thunderstorm and I saw one and I ended up uh, saving two of them from dying during the whole like skeleton trap stuff um, so yeah we have two of them now and two llamas just because why not <laughs> um a death thing as well because i've done a lot back here is uh this is an auto smelter um i'm it's a design by mysticat it's a well-known design as well um i have it right now and uh it's actually running you heard the piston drop it's running uh, a bamboo farm and that's what i'm using for fuel um because i don't feel like doing like a carpet duper or doing um anything else so the the minecart runs constantly it fills up the chest and when i need it to i just turn it on and it'll fill it up and the other thing we have is uh i'll have to actually show i should show you guys this sorry i'm doing a lot of catch up over here i kind of neglected neglected this area and showing you guys we uh we have this so this side took me a little bit to figure out um, but I was having an issue where this would fill up so much with uh, honeycomb that it would stop the car in the track and I was running out of storage. So uh, we have two giant auto sorters now. Um, the auto sorters aren't needed because they're not mixed sides. It's just uh, it's easier to get the materials into chests um, if I have an auto sort uh, sorter going. So the honeycomb yeah it, it fills up right now i had a, it used to start on that side and, and now it started on this side so you guys can already see um and then same with the honey bottles all the way like that um you can go back there i have it so i can fix the redstone that's the one thing i've gotten good at with this series is uh auto sorting which i used to suck at so I'm not too upset about it and a different thing as well uh is I decided to go back on all of our buildings because I had so much honeycomb and I actually mixed up it used to be all oxidized carp uh, copper and now it's just a mixture of almost oxidized and oxidized so that's a different thing um, we'll get over to the village in just a moment there is one other thing I want to show you and it's down in our mine shaft so I'm gonna head over there real quick and then I'll show you guys all right so down in our mine shaft um, Everyone say hello to Enderbutt. I still need to name him. It's surprising. They're my favorite mob, but they absolutely terrify me. Um, so the thing I want to show you is uh, mass destruction. So I decided I needed a lot of uh, cobble deep slate for... Oh, I, I did forget also. There's a slime chunk over here. It's not near our slime farm, but uh, if I need a better uh, slime farm, I, can, I guess I can build one down here now. I needed a lot of cobble deep slate and... It's even with haste two, it's not instant mine, which kind of sucks. So, um, I decided to build a tunnel bore. Now, if you don't know what a tunnel bore is, I'll show you. Um, I this is the first one I've ever built, and I've only broken it once. Um, so it's just over here. Basically, it mines infinitely in a straight line, and it uses uh, ancient debris. This is just for lights, and then in a TNT duper and it basically pushes through um blows everything up in the area so make sure as long as like no gravel falls and it, it actually runs through like like this for example yeah it, it does that uh, i found a handful of diamonds redstone with this and it basically gives me a lot of uh cobbled deep slate really fast um i was able to fill up my all three of my chests actually in the uh storage room because of this 
and it only took me maybe like 30 minutes of, of just pressing the note box. So I like it. Uh, definitely worth and probably the more one of the more efficient ways of getting Cobble Deep Slate, honestly. So that's kind of just what I wanted to show you guys. Um, I'm most likely just going to put down like um, it's it, the design is by Mr. Cap. I'll probably try to remember to link it. Um, I'm going to probably show the time lapse of me actually running it for the first time ever as a, an end screen if you want to see it. So you can either skip ahead or just, just wait. We're not going to spend too much more time um, with this video. I'm going to head back over to the surface. I want to show you guys the village. And honestly, I might just leave it on that and we'll work on the village wall next episode. Okay, so the village wall. Um, I've done a lot off camera with it. Uh, I also went ahead and fixed the wall design itself. So this is what it looks like. It's back um, back on the inside of the wood again. It lines up really, it actually lines up flush with our uh, tower. So that's why the sides look like this. I'm not quite sure. Well, actually, no, that makes sense. Well, no, it doesn't. I'm not sure why. I think I might have put an extra layer of uh, whatever it's called. Yeah, I'm not sure. Something was different or off with this, but it's fine. So uh, yeah, this is what it looks like. Um, I have stairs going on the bottom, and then I changed the entrance a little bit. It's about three blocks wide. I'm going to put probably end rods up here to light it up. We were able to keep that. Um, I'm not going to, I'm, I'm probably not going to close this up. Um, I'm probably going to just leave it open. And then going up to the very top of it, um, we, we have a some soul lanterns we have a lot of soul lanterns actually uh they're on walls every other block and then slabs in between to keep it kind of mop safe um and then i have a strip birch pattern um so this is all on like stairs and stuff so i, I like how the, actually the final design of this came out um after i had fixed it and i just haven't had the chance to show you guys so let me guys know what you guys think about this um i quite enjoy it honestly and i'm gonna do something very similar across the entire village um, I went ahead and filled, I kind of landscaped, um, I didn't want to terraform a lot, so I kind of just made this all in the middle flat, um, and smooth, smoothed out some of the terrain so that it looks like it rolled better, and then I, um, did the same up here, and I placed all the blue concrete for our wall so that I knew where I was placing blocks, so, for the most part, um, soon we'll be able to get probably the majority of this, uh, village done. It's gonna take me some while time, a bit of time to actually get it done, but that's fine. I'm gonna probably build sections of the wall, either tip quick time lapse at the, the end of the videos um, as end screens or um, just throughout the videos coming up so that we can get it done. Uh, we'll work on the wall a little bit next episode probably, but I have to resolve our gunpowder issue first. So that will be interesting. Uh, wish me luck trying to find a bigger farm. I have one in mind. I just really did not want to do it. So well, um, that being said, uh, that's probably all we're going to do for the day. It's probably, uh, I'm going to guess a 15 minute video. So if you guys did did stay this far, thank you. Let me know what you guys think about the raid farm. I'll link the tutorials, all of the tutorials down below that I mentioned. So I think that's where I'm going to end in today. If you guys did enjoy, please leave a big fat thumbs up. I greatly appreciate it. Feel free to subscribe if you're brand new and want to join the, the team and uh, want to watch me make some more ridiculous things. Um, because yes, all the emeralds are going to be used to make beacons in this entire village. Um, each tower will have beacons spoil but that's that's the plan so um yeah i think that's all and uh hopefully you guys will join me in the next one and until then peace out and bye mm -hmm.